Hi everybody, it's Lori here today to do a review on this Goose Creek, I'm pointing, <laughs> Goose Creek Ribbon Candy 3 Wick Candle, obviously from Goose Creek. I want to take a moment and welcome you if you're new to the channel. I hope you decide to subscribe down below and then when you do turn on all notifications so you don't miss any time that I upload. I upload at least five times a week. It's seeking up there to six times a week. It just depends on what content that I have and that I want to put out for you guys. I have my schedule all planned out for January. I've got some great content that I'm so excited to share with you all that I hope is educational and fun and that saves you some money. I review the products so that you don't have to waste your money. If it doesn't sound like something that you want to use or that you're interested in, it saves you some money and that you can put it towards something else that you're going to enjoy. I want to welcome you back if you're a regular subscriber or viewer. I'm so glad to have you as a part of the channel. Okay, so let's jump in to this Goose Creek Ribbon Candy review and talk about this candle. The scent notes on this particular candle say cherry, strawberry, lemon, grape, pineapple, sparkling sugar, vanilla, and raspberry. And I'm going to tell you, I don't know that I smell all of that. That's a lot going on there. <laughs> this is definitely a candy sweet fragrance. And truly, when you are burning this, at least in my house, and we all agree, this is predominantly a cherry candle, but it is not cherry cough syrup, thank God, <laughs> because I do not like that fragrance. <laughs> I was really worried because I saw that and I thought, oh, there's a lot of other stuff going on in here. It can't be all cherry. But no, I mean, it's really nice. I'm getting the predominant notes of the cherry, I get some strawberry, a little bit of the grape. I don't know about lemon or pineapple, and maybe that just brightens it up a little bit because citrus notes tend to do that. There is some vanilla in here, so it kind of softens it. You're not, it's not super creamy, but it kind of softens some of those other elements. This is a really, really nice candle. I have been enjoying it. You can see here, the burn, so this is a fourth day burn, and um, it has been burning really good. You can see that, you know, you don't have a lot of the um, residue on the glass. It's been burning really nicely. I have not a nice wax pool going here for you. I've had no problems at all with puny wick syndrome, which we tend to get sometimes. I hate to say with Bath and Body Works, sometimes, let's be honest. We have that. I'm not having sooting issues. And I know people have been saying this season that some of the Goose Creek candles are really sooty. I'm not having that problem at all. I've been really pleased with this. You know, if I had to, I would trim these wicks. I only trim these once, oh, after the first burn. And I'm not having any issues where I think that I need to trim them down. You can see they're not super high or out of control. But you're going to want to watch your candles no matter what company it's from and just keep an eye on it. And if the flames are getting too high or out of control, put out the candle, let it cool, and then trim it. And, you know, then you can, you know, let it cool completely off and then you can try it the next time. And, you know, the next day or whatever, I like to, you know, give it a chance to completely cool off, usually overnight. But, you know, at the least eight hours, give it some time to have that wax solidify again and then you can um, light it up again. That's my preference. I'm not saying that you, you know, have to do it that way, but that's kind of my preference for these. In any case, the fragrance and the throw on this is really, really good. So it's a really nice fruity fragrance. I don't know that I'd say it's super fresh or bright. It's kind of a, you know, cherry is a little bit of a heavier type of fragrance and so is grape. So this is definitely kind of a syrupy sweet fragrance, which I enjoy. I mean, it, it's not sickeningly sweet by any means. It's just a very nice, fruity type candy fragrance. So if you're looking for something along those lines and you want something with a throw, I would recommend this one. I would say this throw is probably a seven to an eight. And that's a large open concept room with a high ceiling. So if you have this in a smaller room, you might get blown out of the house on this one. You might be thinking, oh, I gotta open a window. 
And I will say Goose Creek, from what I have heard and the few candles that I have burned so far, have been on the lighter side. And some people like lighter candles and that's okay. I'm not, you know, I mean, not everybody wants to be blown out of the house. Sometimes you just want a nice fragrance in the background. You, that, you don't want to just be overwhelmed with the smell of a candle. I will tell you that, you know, the last couple of days, I've been really wanting a light vanilla marshmallowy scent. And so not every candle needs to blow me out of the house. And so anyway, this one though will be strong. If you're looking for a strong Bath & Body Works type of throw, this one is definitely um, right up your alley. You're going to really enjoy this one. Now I purchased two of these, which I was happy that I did because I had seen a couple of reviews and people really, really liked it. Kind of funny. My husband ordered Goose Creek for me, <laughs> wanted to surprise me for Christmas, which is just lovely. That was so nice <laughs> for him to do. And he surprised me with a third one. He didn't realize that I already had this one. He knows I have lots of candles and he knows I like fruity um, candy scents, so he got me a third. So I have three of these. Do I think I need any more? Not at this point. I mean, you know, if I used these and they came up, you know, came out next year, I would certainly buy this again, 100%. Do I have to have five or six of these? Probably not. It's nice, but is it something that it? I don't think I'll ever see again, that type of fragrance? No, probably not. So yeah, I would definitely buy this again. I would definitely say that I made a good purchase. I was glad my husband got me another one. And I'm really going to enjoy this because I think this is a scent that I can enjoy any time of year. It doesn't have to be Christmas scent. I mean, like I said, it's a nice fruity, sugary scent. And I'm going to enjoy it year-round. So thanks for joining me on the review of the Ribbon Candy from Goose Creek. Let me know in the comments section down below if you had any Goose Creek candles that you picked up over the holiday season and did they have a strong throw for you? What was your favorite Goose Creek candle of the holidays? I look forward to doing another review for you and talking to you next time. Bye everybody!